So welcome back to the channel guys. In this video we're going to do a demonstration of the iCarsoft Vol version 1.0 tool which I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones and they can damage your vehicle so it's very worth using the link in the description if you wanted to take a closer look at this tool. Uh, we're in a little Volvo C30 which has numerous warning lights and messages on the dashboard here. So we're going to use this tool to hopefully try and diagnose and reset most, uh, if not all, of these warning lights. Well, we won't be able to do all, but I'll come to that as soon as possible, alright? So, um, first of all, we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port, which is kind of like just down there. And um, what we'll do is I'll show you, if we click on this message button here, if we look at this section here, we can scroll through the messages that we have on this Volvo. Um, so we've got an airbag. ABS and the SCID engine system service required. So this tool is basically going to allow us to diagnose all of the main systems in pretty much all Volvo vehicles. Um, so it's a really really good tool for any owner or enthusiast I would say. Uh, so what we'll do first of all we'll click into diagnostics and since we've got the engine message on the front there we will just select the the engine system. So we'll go to Volvo first of all and um, we'll go to C30, it's a 2008 model, so it's selecting our vehicle and then it gives us a list of systems which we could potentially diagnose for this vehicle. So first of all, um, we've got two engine systems depending on whether you've got the petrol or the diesel. Uh, we've got a diesel, so it's the first one we're going to select and it's going to give us uh, read fault code option. So we'll, clear, we'll read the fault code, it's giving us one of three fault codes, all of which relating to the mass airflow sensor. Uh, we know this because we've actually, we've already done a diagnosis on this. The fault, the, the fault remains with the mass airflow sensor, so we need to change that out. So, unfortunately, we, we can't reset that message yet until we've done that, okay? But the purpose of this video and this section here is just to really show you what the fault codes you would be getting, all right? Um, in fact, I'll show you if we try to clear the faults we're going, to get an, we're going to get an error there. Fail to complete, all right? So that is the engine system where we're, whereby we haven't fixed the fault. The other systems, we have fixed the faults, okay? So if we go down the line, so if we go down to ABS brake system, and then we'll do the same here. We'll go read fault code. This one is giving us 0020 wheel speed sensor right front faulty signal. So we found a fault with the ABS sensor. We did the live data on it, wasn't giving us any readings when the vehicle was moving. So we were pretty much convinced it's a front right ABS sensor. We've since put the front right ABS sensor in, a new one. And what we can do now is go clear fault memory and click OK. So it's cleared it on here, that's still flashing. What you'll generally find on this vehicle is that you'll get a, that'll come on, another warning light will come on just there, and then they'll all go off. There we go. So that is the ABS system clear, and you can go back in to read the fault code, and it's giving us now no fault code found, all right? So that's a good sign, and then we do the same with the airbag system. The ABS light has come back on, they've come back on. Oh, they've gone off again. Right, so we go to the airbag system. I'm not sure why that, that came back on there. Um, and again, we have fixed this fault. It was a faulty connection, uh, but this was giving us 005B, um, front right, and then driver's belt buckle, all relating to the uh, the connection underneath the driver's seat, actually. Uh, but we've, we've connected everything back up together. Clear fault memory now, we'll get rid of the airbag light. So as we do this, just keep an eye on the airbag light. That can sometimes take 10 to 15 seconds to turn off. Sometimes it goes off quickly, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the vehicle, really. There we go, the airbag light has gone off there. Um, and that's all thanks to the, the Vol version 1.0 tool. You can see it, you can scroll through here and it gives you a wide range of other systems that you could potentially diagnose. Um, but that is essentially what the tool is at its strongest for. Um, it does have the oil reset and steering angle sensor service functions as well, but if you wanted more service functionality, I'd recommend looking at the Vol version 2 or the Vol version 3. Uh, we have put videos on all of those tools as well, so it's, it is worth checking them out if you wanted a more advanced tool. But this tool is really good if all you were interested in is maybe resetting the, uh, the engine fault like that one there, or the airbag or the ABS fault, something like that. 
but I will put the link to this in the description because as I say fakes and clones do exist they can damage your vehicle and it's just not worth going down that route okay thanks so much for watching guys and I hope this helps